Hi, this is Ed Gregory from Photos in Color, and in this video, I'm going to give you a quick start guide to how to use Lightroom CC. Theme tune. Theme tune. I just love it. So this is lesson one in our Lightroom CC training course. So we're calling it Lightroom CC. It can also be called Lightroom 6. So when we open Lightroom, this is what we get given. This is the library module. And we have the library. At the top, we also see develop, map, book, light, slideshow, print, and web. We will mainly be using library and develop. And today, they are the only two that we will use. So the library mod module. This is where all of our photographs are going to be stored for viewing. The develop module is where we develop or edit everything. So here we are. There's nothing here right now. It's a brand new catalog. So we're going to go file, import photos and video. Now, if you were to put in a SD card into your computer or connect a camera, Lightroom probably will detect it and bring up this screen. However, not always. So import photos and video. Click on that button just there. And it's detected that I have my Nikon D800 SD card in the computer. So you can see here some images that I've taken on there and it's all just here. Now I can also import from my computer. However, today what we're going to be doing is importing from my camera, these nine photos here. Now to import on the right hand side, there's lots of different options that we get to look at. We're going to go for the most basic option today. So the top thing, file handling, we're just going to leave the settings as they are. Renaming, if you want to rename your files, that's, that's awesome. All you have to do is custom text and type it in there. So I'm going to call this my training images like so. The next thing down, I can add some develop settings. We'll go into that later on as well. Your metadata, so if you want to add any copyright information, I've already got one built, so it's called Ed Gregory Client. And I can add any keywords. So for example, the e these images just here were taken in Vegas. And I could add in all sorts of different things as well, like my name or anything like this for copyright reasons or for searching later on. Now. The next thing, this is the most important thing, destination. We're going to take the images from the SD card or your camera and put them somewhere that Lightroom knows where to find them, okay? So we can choose wherever that might be. It might be on your computer, on an external hard drive, something like this. So for today, we've got users, Ed, that's me. I put mine inside pictures and I've got a folder called work in progress. Now you can do it however you like. Now I've got a folder down here called YouTube training folder because that's what this is for. Now I can add place into subfolder. So this is going to create a subfolder. So I'm going to call this lesson one. Okay. Now if I actually scroll down here now, you can see that it says lesson one, it's created a grayed out folder showing that's what Lightroom is going to create. So one other thing, you can see all the tick marks here. Now this means all of these photographs are going to be imported. I can at the bottom here, click uncheck all. Okay, so no images will be imported. Or I can go along and select the photographs that I need. Or if I want to, I can shift select between a few and click one, it will click all of those. I'm going to check all for now and import them all. Come down here, hit import. Now, at the top here, this is my status bar as it imports them. You saw how quick that was. It imported these nine photos really quickly. So here we are in the library module. Really simple. This is the images that we just selected. You can see that I Actually, over here, my folders is a YouTube tra tra training folder with a subfolder of lesson. Okay, so that's what we've just imported. Multiple imports, you'll get a list down here of multiple things. Very simple. Now, these are the images. If I select an image and hit space bar, that's going to make this full screen. Um, it's going to fill the area. So now I can see it and click again and I can now zoom in and it will load that image from a preview into an actual image, which is great, like so. So, and I can use the arrow buttons to scroll along, which will go along the film strip along the very bottom just here. 
great nice and simple so we've got the images in here now now what we want to do is make an edit so today we're going to edit this photo so we come up to develop module now there's a reason why Lightroom call it develop module and not the edit module because the idea is that Lightroom is a digital darkroom. It uses the same kind of techniques. It's now a little bit more advanced, but the same techniques as you would do when you were developing old film. So what they're choosing to do is say we're developing this image as opposed to editing, which might mean add things that aren't actually present okay that would be something like Photoshop so here we are here let's quickly edit this one this here is the image and we can move around the image up here okay inside the navigator to take us to different sections as we zoomed in hit fill it's going to bring us all the way back out nice and simple so let's make an edit the first thing here is your white balance so I continue to change the temperature of the image like so and the tint of the image underneath like so Okay, at the bottom you can always click reset, but that resets every edit you've made. So I'll hit reset. Now I think this image needs warming up a little bit because it was very warm. So I'm going to slide that up just a little bit and warm it up. Now I also think it's underexposed. So this is my exposure slider and I can boost the exposure or take the exposure down. It needs a little bit of a boost, so I'm going to move it 0.6 of a stop. Great, I'm actually gonna go 0.9 of a stop I think there you go now you can always add the numbers in by clicking on the number over here 0.9 hit enter there we go now if you want to reset anything just double click on any of the words here and it will in fact reset that value like so now contrast is obviously your highlights versus your dark so you can add and remove contrast I'm going to boost it a little bit and then you've got your highlights and your shadows. So the sun up here, I think it's overexposed actually now. So I can pull back my highlights to bring that back a little bit. Great. I also think my shadows down here are a little too dark. So I'm going to now boost my shadows like so. Starts looking great. My whites, I think I'm quite happy with. And also my shadows, my darks, I don't want to move those around too much. Now that's a very, very basic edit. But now if I go to reset, Look at the difference, huge. So let's say I'm now happy with my reset. Now there's actually, with my edit, there's actually lots of different options we can go for, but we're just going to use that for now. Now importantly, Lightroom hasn't actually touched any of your image itself. It's created a new file, which is saving all these edits in and overlaying it onto your image. Now what that means is it's non-destructive. You can make multiple edits to one image and it will never touch the original folder. If your computer crashes and Lightroom gets a problem, your original image is safe and sound and there's no problems, so that's great. So now we've made the edit. If we go to that image on our computer, like so, so we're gonna come over here and we're actually going to have a look at that image. Here it is, that image hasn't been edited at all, it's still in its original form. So we need to actually export it. So we come back here, we go File, Export, okay, and we get all of these settings here. Really, really simple at this point. So all we do is I want it to go into the same folder as the original, and I like to put it in a new folder called Edits. So I've already created that just here. Nice and simple, this is where the image is going to end up. And then I'm going to rename the folder, the file, sorry, and it's going to be called man at red rock, like so. And then I can change the quality of it. It's going to be saved as a JPEG at 100% quality. It's going to be for print, so 300 DPI. If it's going to be for screen or web, I would say 72 DPI works better, but I'll get into more detail about that later. And that's it, no watermark. And now I, if I hit export, Great, the top here it's gonna tell me it's exporting, exporting one file, and that will actually move along as it's exporting and adding on those things. Now it's actually done that. Now if I come back to this folder here, where the image was saved, you can now see there is an edits folder. And inside there is this new edited man at Red Rock. And it looks absolutely fantastic. 
So that is my quick start guide to Lightroom. Please subscribe to my channel because then you're gonna get all the new videos that I'm going to make teaching you every single element of Lightroom to make your photographs really quite amazing. Please subscribe if you've got any questions at all, write them in the comments below, give me a thumbs up and say you like it, and head over to Photos in Color if you want and get a free photography guide. Anyway, I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll speak to you very soon. My name is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com.